Hey, what's up guys, it's Yvonne. And in this video, I want to show you how to create audience campaigns here with Microsoft Ads, which is basically like display ads or native ads where your ads will show up on different websites based on your own targeting settings. So let's get straight into it. The first thing you guys have to do is log into your Microsoft Ads account. If you don't have one, simply go to ads.microsoft.com. Very simple, follow the steps, enter your email, password, login, after you fill in some basic details, you should see a page that looks like this. And this is where we'll be creating new campaigns. So from here, you're just gonna click on create right over here. And you're gonna click on visits to my website and we're gonna select audience ads. And we're just gonna go from top to bottom, step by step. I'm gonna show you everything here as you guys watch behind my shoulder. So let's suppose we want to create a campaign for my website, ivanmana.com. So we can say ivanmana, we can say display. For the budget, you can set here however much you want to spend per day. The more you spend, the faster you're going to get results, right? So $30 is a very healthy budget to spend per day. We're going to leave it at that. And now we're going to enter an ad group name. Now the ad group name is usually going to be determined based on your preferences here that you set. And this is because once you end up having lots of different ad groups, you'll be able to at a glance tell right away what that ad group targeting is. So if in the first ad group we have a certain age, for example, or a certain location, you'll be able to tell right away without having to click on that ad group. So it just makes it very easy. So what we're gonna do is we'll just select everything here just so I could show you all the different options, right? And then we're gonna come back and enter the ad group name. So let's just go, like I said, step by step, top to bottom. So the first thing here is location. Where do you want your ads to appear? Normally, I recommend that you go with the tier one countries, Canada, US, Australia, New Zealand, United Kingdom. So you can enter United States, have to click enter here and then target. And then Canada, for the purpose of this video, I think I'll just select, let's say Canada, US, and let's say Australia. And we're gonna click target. And then we're gonna scroll down for the age, you can set whatever age you want. So let's use my website as an actual example. So normally, knowing my own statistics, my age group is uh, mainly from 25 to about 50, okay? So I'm gonna deselect these, and we're just gonna keep these two age groups here, at least for the purpose of this example. For gender, mostly male. However, I'm going to leave it open to everyone. And next, we're gonna scroll down and add the targeting. So this is where the actual targeting is. So you can click over here, the drop down, and just choose whatever option you have. So if you have a remarketing list already, you can click on remarketing list. We have some here in this example and you can select that and then you can show your ads to people who have already visited your site or who have bought, for example. If you have questions about remarketing or you want to set it up and you don't know how, check out my video. I will put a link in the description as well as there will be a little circle in the top right corner of this video you can click on and you can take a look at my remarketing for Microsoft Ads tutorial. However, if you don't have a remarketing list, what you can do is you can come over here and click on in market audiences, and then you can target people that have an interest in a specific topic. So let's say in my case, online marketing, that's what we're targeting. So maybe we wanna go with internet and telecom, probably not that, let's say, um, I don't even know, I, I, we'd have to go in there and take a look. Let's see, what would go well for my offer? Maybe business and industrial, I don't know. Nope, definitely not that. So there's lots to play around here. You guys can take a look just to save time. Let me just go with, let's say, um, yeah, like let me just go with this one as an example. Oh, it looks like this one's in, ineligible, that's okay. Um, let's let's add this one for example, musical instruments, just as an example so we can move on because as you can see, there are a lot of options and I don't wanna go through each and every single one of them. So, so far what we have done is we're targeting people ages 25 to 49 of any gender that have an interest in musical instruments and accessories, right? That's so far what we have, but we can keep going down. The cool thing about Microsoft ads is you can also target companies specifically. So you can target people that work at, let's say McDonald's. If you have something that could benefit McDonald's employees, for example, you can target McDonald's, which is really cool. Now we're gonna remove that. I don't think it, this campaign is really gonna be applicable too much for things like that for specific companies but whatever you guys are selling, it might, right? Just to show you here how detailed Microsoft Ads is, this is really, really cool. 
Next, you have industry here. So if you don't want to target a specific company, let's suppose you want to target a bunch of different companies in a specific industry, you can do that here. So over here, as you can see all the different options, let's say, I don't know, media and communications, maybe for us, maybe online media, boom, we can target online media. And if you want to remove anything, you just click the little X and now all of a sudden it's removed. You can also target by job function as well. So you could target people who have these specific jobs, right? So even if they are in different companies that, that are in different industries, some positions might be the same in each company. So that's where you would go in here and you would target people who have the kinds of jobs. If you have a product that could make life easier for human resources, for example, you can target people working in, for example, right here, human resources, which is kind of cool or marketing. If you have tips for somebody who does marketing, you can target them. So this would actually be a perfect uh, audience segment here for us because I offer marketing tutorials. So I could uh, make life easier for people working, working in marketing firms. So that's that. You can expand your reach by selecting this option here. Use predictive targeting. Basically, it expands your reach a little bit. So whatever you have here, whatever you selected, Microsoft is going to expand it a little bit and show your ads to people that they think could also be relevant to these topics. So you can leave it on if you like. If you want to strictly go with the, the targeting options you selected, you would turn it off. So now we're targeting people that work in marketing people that haven't so i think we can remove this musical instruments now it just doesn't make sense for us we can go back to select audience and we're targeting people ages 25 to 49 in the tier one countries so that should be all of these options here so now we can go back and change our ad group so we can say 25 to 49 we can do double slash we could say tier one countries for example just for simplicity or if you want to be more specific you could just say you can say US plus Canada plus AU, Australia. And then what else did we do? People in marketing. If you selected any other options, you would enter them here. So you would say marketing job, for example. Boom. Okay. And now at a glance, you'll be able to tell exactly what this ad group is about without having to click on it. So once you see the stats, once you see the data coming in, you'll be able to tell which ad group does better because ideally you will be running tests. You will be running different ad groups for different segments. So that should be it. So this is our targeting. Let's save this and go to the next step. Now we have to create our ad, our actual ad, right? With the image, with the headline, things like that. So the final URL, it's going to be ivanmana.com. And then here you can see what it will look like right here. So we're going to let it fetch and scan the website for images. Maybe it'll just use an image that we have from our site right away. In the meantime, we could add a short headline. So online marketing tips, let's say uh, you could say start affiliate marketing now. That's kind of cool because I offer a free affiliate marketing guide. So it's kind of a stepping stone for people who never heard about it. Long headline is get started with affiliate marketing with this free guide let's just say that or we can be more detailed we could say with this free 55 page guide and so here you can see that the ads are already changing and uh, what it will look like right the business name let's say Ivan Amana Inc that is my business name add text we could say here let's say new to affiliate marketing check out or let's say let's say download this guide now and learn all you need to get started. That's perfect, we have one character left, and there you go. And then here you can see what the ad will look like on the different sites, right? So we'll be targeting these people on any site that is eligible. Uh, the people that we selected, people who work in marketing that are between 25 to 49 years old in these three countries, no matter what site they go to, as long as the sites are eligible and they're partnered with Microsoft Ads, they will see these ads, all right? So that looks good. Let me see. That looks pretty much it. So now we can add an image because it didn't fetch a good image. So what I'm going to do is click on add image here. And let me see if I wonder if Microsoft has an integration with actually stock images. That would be kind of cool. So let's take a look. Let's click on stock images and let's say make money online. Okay. Yeah. So they do have an integration with Shutterstock, which is really cool. So you can get these basically free images to show up on your ad. So get started, make money online. So that looks kind of cool. Let's try this one. And then we can 
try a different image as well. We can take a look. Let's see. So that looks cool. I really like this. The Shutterstock logo will not be there in the actual ad, not to worry. We could test it. We could split test. We could add another image as well. So uh, let's go to stock images. Let's say make money or make money online. Would have been better probably. Let's say, no, this is fine. Yeah, so this looks kind of cool. So we could do this. So now we have these two images and I'm liking the way this ad looks. Looks kind of cool. Start affiliate marketing now, ad by Ivan Mena Inc. And then this is in Microsoft ads, I'm guessing. Oh uh, yeah, here, Outlook, right? So if we go back, let me see. Yeah, this is the desktop Outlook. So that's the ad could show up there as well. So that looks kind of cool. So I'm liking these ads. If you want to add more descriptions, more headlines, things like that, you can do that here. So free, let's say affiliate marketing guide. I, would, I, I wouldn't um, suggest getting carried away and adding a bunch of different headlines, a bunch of different descriptions, things like that. Just because if you don't have a lot of traffic, if you have too many variations, each variation won't get as much traffic, you won't see as many results. So I'd say keep it to two, maybe maximum three different headlines, for example, a few images, and just go with that, just go with that to start. So that looks good, let's click save. If you want to, for example, test completely different themes, for example, here we're talking about affiliate marketing guide, start affiliate marketing, but here we could create another ad theme, which can revolve around make money from home, make money, uh, you know, earn money from home, things like that. So we're gonna save and go to next step. So these are the different options for you to pay per click, right? So you have enhanced CPC where Microsoft will charge you a little bit more to get um, what they think could be a higher quality click, what they think, okay, not guaranteed. You could do cost per thousand impressions for every time your ad is seen but not clicked, or you can do CPC, cost per click. I do suggest cost per click because that way, it, at least when you're first starting out, you're guaranteed some sort of results, right? Because if your ad sucks, you and people don't click on it, you will still be paying for that if you select this option. So this option is a little more advanced. I do suggest switching to it once you do see some good results and some good data. Once you know your ad is working, this cost per thousand impressions will actually be cheaper than the cost per click. But when you're starting out, I suggest with the cost per click. So you can see here all the data here, estimated monthly clicks up to 3000 monthly clicks. That's a lot. You can play around with this number. You can make it, let's say 20 cents and see what you get here. Uh, still a lot. And the reason for that is because these display ads, they're much, much more broad uh, in terms of unlike search ads where you're giving people exactly what they're looking for. Display ads are kind of all over the place. The people you're targeting aren't necessarily searching for what you're targeting. So that's why the reach is much, much, much higher. You're reaching much more people, but it's not as targeted, right? And for that reason, the cost per click is much, much less. So you're still able to get up to uh, maximum here, it says, based on the suggestions, 2,000 monthly clicks from just 10 cents per click, which is really, really good. So you'll be spending 100 bucks a, a month for 2,000 clicks, which is crazy. That's a really good deal. So conversions, I'm not going to cover how to set up conversion tracking in this video because I already have a video on that. Check that out. I will link it in the description. And again, click on the uh, little circle showing up in the top right corner of this video. You will see how to set up conversion tracking. For the time being, we're gonna click save, and that should be it. So now the campaign is under review, let's click got it. Let me give you a quick overview of where to go and what this looks like inside. So here's what the ad group looks like. Once you want to do more testing, for example, you can click here, you can click copy, and then you can paste. So you can click copy, you have to do that, and then uh, click the, these three buttons, and then uh, these three uh, dots, and then click paste, and you'll be able to paste change the things around, change some of these around, and like for example, change the age group, and then rename it, right? So that's how you would test different options. How would you then change the ages and things like that? You see it all here. So here are the demographic settings. You can go in here. Uh, so you have the age, you have the gender. So everything that we set, you can change right over here. So company, you can add a new company, you can add a new industry things like that. And then if you want to play around with the ages again and change the ages, have a different ad group for that, you can come back in here and just enable it or disable these or, you know, things like that. So it's really, really simple, really easy to do. And then here you have the ads and everything. If we click on this, oops, it's got a, let's remove these filters. 
and then here's the ad, right? And then if you want to click on the ad here, you'll be able to also change the image and do adjustments to it. So that is pretty much it. I'm going to pause the ad because last time I didn't and I racked up a few hundred dollars of uh, expenses for a test campaign that I had absolutely no intention of running. So I'm gonna pause it here. But this is how you create these audience ads on Microsoft Ads, guys. Very simple, very, very effective, very cool. If you want a more detailed, in-depth tutorial for Microsoft Ads search campaigns, for example, I do invite you to check out my website at ivanmana.com where I do give you this free guide. But in addition, I have training courses. I have this Microsoft Ads Mastery course, which is about five to six hours long or so which covers in very, very thorough detail how to create a search ad campaign, how to set up conversion tracking, remarketing. Everything is in order, everything is updated, everything is very simple and easy to understand and follow. I also invite you to check out my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Yvonne Mana, where I have, let's say over 500 actual videos that you can look at and find value in, hopefully. For example, these case studies where I literally show you some of the profitable case studies. I show you everything, ads, keywords, landing page, everything. And then we review it, see how we can do it better. Lots of cool stuff here. You guys can take a look, case studies, podcasts, interviews, things like that. And yes, I hope you found value. I will see you in the next video.